Alright, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to burn DVDs for free using this program called DVD Flick. Uh, the link will be in the description, so go ahead, download that, and install it. And once you do, open it up. First thing you want to do is click on the Add Title button on the right hand side. So click that. For this video, we're going to be using Winnie the Pooh. So I'm going to open that file up and add that title, and it will import it. Now you'll see over here, it'll show you how much of the DVD it's going to take up. It's only at 89%, so we're good because it's only an hour long. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go into the project settings, click on that, and you want to change the title of the project to Winnie the Pooh, or whatever the name of the movie is. And then you can pretty much leave everything else default. Leave all the video features the same. The audio, I usually increase the volume a little bit, maybe like 115%. Uh, playback. Hold on. When you go into playback, you can set those options however you'd like, whatever your preference is. Uh, we're going to burn this to a disc, so click on that. And if you burn at 16x, it sometimes gives you errors, so I don't really go any higher than 6x. Uh, and then the last two, you can do it based on preference. I always verify it after, make sure it's all set. Alright, next you want to click on the menu settings, so you can set up a custom menu. Uh, this is basically, they have like six menus that it comes with. They're all uh, pretty basic. I like to use the orange LED one. I think it looks the coolest. And you can preview it to see what it's going to look like. It's just a basic, real basic menu. So close that and go ahead and hit accept. And now, the last thing you really need to do is go into edit title. So we can set up some chapters. Leave everything in this block. Uh, the same. I usually go in and create chapters every 10 minutes. It seems to work out the best. Uh, you can choose to create a number of chapters if you'd like. It's up to you. Then you can inspect the video, audio, add subtitles if you want. I'm not going to, so just hit accept to that. And then down the bottom you have to change the output directory. I save all mine to document slash DVD and then the name of the movie. But you can click browse and save them wherever you want. So now that that's all set up, uh, the next thing you can do is click on the Create DVD button up in the top in the top of the screen. It will give you uh, a prompt that says it will burn the disk after it's finished encoding. Just click OK to that and make sure there's a DVD in the drive. All right, so now you'll get this screen. What it's going to do is it's going to prepare all the files and then it will encode the video and then it will encode the audio, and then it will combine them together, add your subtitles, and then finally burn a DVD. This is a pretty involved process. It could take anywhere from an hour and a half to three hours, depending on the size of the movie, so just be patient. It, uh, it does take a while, but when you're done, you'll have a DVD that you can play in anywhere. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, check out sneaky-media.com where you can get uh, all your movies to burn. That's about it. It's one leader signing out.